In this video, I will show you how to install two pieces of software that we'll be using this semester, the Secure Shell Client and the File Transfer Protocol Client. So to start this process, we'll just go to udel.edu. These are pieces of software we're going to download from UD. I'm on the Students tab, Student Life, Computing and Technology. I'll scroll down a little bit. Oh, past it. There we go. Downloads. Software licensed for UD students. And then we'll click on Windows Software. And we'll scroll down a little bit. You'll probably see software that uh, is available to me as a faculty member that's not available to you, but that's okay. You're going to have this one. Secure Shell. Install SSH Secure Shell. And the download download box opens up. We'll save file. It'll save to the downloads directory. We'll go ahead and save it. Oh, it's already in there, but we'll just overwrite it. And here we go. Double click that. So it's installing. Give it a minute here. And next. Next. Yes. Next. Next. And I wanna I wanna get the icons, so I'm gonna leave those checked. Desktop icons right there is checked. Next. Next. It's a little slow uh, in this point, at least on my machine it is, for some reason. But now sudden it's going to be fast. And it's complete. Finish. We'll close this. And I'll open up the SSH client icon I double clicked on, just as a little test. So you should get a window that's like this as the SSH client. Uh, notice also that the, there these two icons that are right here, you can get to either one of the programs from either one of them. So I can open up a file transfer window from the SSH client. Likewise, if I have the file transfer client open, I can open up an SSH window from that client. So at this point we want to handle some settings. So I clicked on the little gear icon here which is the settings and under host name we want to type strauss dot udel dot edu strauss dot udel dot edu and I'll type my, I'll enter my my username as well I'll leave everything else as a default for right now and let's just click OK And then so here it is and hopefully we can see it with strauss.udel.edu as the host name the username as I entered in the settings W Boyer and don't, don't change the port there and don't bother with the authentication method so we'll try to connect now it's just asking me if I want to confirm that we're connecting to this and that's perfectly legit we want to do that so here finally my password and you'll notice in the login in the the dialog box here the the center of the the screen we we see some things acknowledging that we have logged in now mine reads bash right here Yours probably won't at the moment, but we'll, we're going to work on that. We're going to we're going to take care of that. So I'd like to add. Uh, I clicked on profiles. I want to add this profile. I'm going to call it Strauss. You can call the profile anything you want, but since we're connecting to Strauss, I'm going to call it Strauss. Just so that I have all those settings, I don't have to type in strauss.udel.edu or my username every time. I can just connect through that profile. Okay, and I think that's it for this.
will be using this uh, throughout the semester and I'll, I'll have subsequent videos that show you how to use it.